What's up tennis fans? I'm Lauren Lynch and this is Tennis Now, your source for the latest tennis news now. Donald Young has recently entered into some controversy after he tweeted an angry post at the USTA, United States Tennis Association, after not being awarded a reciprocal wildcard entry into the upcoming French Open. The American World Number 95 tweeted out, F USTA, they're full of S. They've screwed me for the last time. About an hour later, he looked like he cooled down and tweeted out, that tweet was out of character. I've never been like that before, but I'm tired of it. Sorry about the language, but not the thought behind it. 21-year-old Young closed his Twitter page shortly afterwards. Check out this Tennis Now exclusive after I asked Donald Young about the dangers and regrets of having a free voice on Twitter at the BMP Pariba Open after he defeated world number four, Andy Murray. You use Twitter a lot and you have a lot of personality and you're really funny on there. Do you ever have some sort of regret? You know, something you might have tweeted out? Yeah, I mean, I've deleted a couple of things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but at the time you're kind of speaking out of you know what you really feel like. You're kind of mad about certain things, but I try to be first of all, I try to get my followers up, so I want to be kind of funny. But I enjoy it. Uh, you get to see so people follow me. I, I was really excited when I got 200, and then I took a thousand. I was like, no way, I can't get any better than this. So it's really exciting for me. No official USTA response yet. However, shortly afterwards, Patrick McEnroe, the USTA general manager for player development said, unbelievable. Fellow player Amir Delic tweeted out several things like, guess whose Twitter account has vanished. At some point you have to face the consequences, can't always hide behind something or someone. Hashtag just saying. Donald recently won the Tallahassee Challenger event. Shortly afterwards, a member of his support team reportedly emailed the USTA and requested that he be given the Roland Garros wildcard. However, the USTA had already scheduled the wildcard playoff, set to be contested in Boca Raton, just two days later. Young was just one of six players entered and subsequently lost to Tim Smicek after falling away from taking a first set lead to lose 6-7, 6-4, 6-3, 6-2. Young has received many wild cards in the past. It has been said that he has received free coaching and training from the USDA, although there have been long concerns that he should spend less time being coached by his parents, Donald Sr. and Iona, rather than having an official USDA coach. He thanked the USDA recently for helping him get into shape and more focus on his game after working with USDA coach Jay Berger. Be sure to check out the Tennis Now blog on Donald Young with a lot of insight and comments from tennis fanatics and add your own to it. The link is in the description below. On the clay courts this Easter weekend, you guessed it, Nadal infallibly won at the Barcelona Open after defeating David Ferrer 6-2-6-4 and claiming his sixth title at the tournament. In doubles, the Bryan brothers were beat out by, in the finals by Mexican-American team of Santiago Gonzalez and Scott Lipsky. The Bryans were able to capture the first set, but the, the second set slipped 2-6, bringing them to a super tiebreak. Gonzalez and Lipsky won 5-7, 6-2, 12-10. The real wowza came about when Yuli Gerges of Germany became the first German since 1996, that's 17 years, to win in Stuttgart and now she's driving around in a brand new Porsche. She notably defeated world number one Caroline Wozniacki in the final 7-6-6-3 and rose to number 27 in the world, a career high. Speaking of Wozniacki, rumor has it that she will be working with legend Martina Navratilova to improve her game further. Her father said, we have plans to engage her as a consultant. It's obviously not cheap. The price to hire her may well reach about $300,000 and we'll have to pay out of our own pockets. The 2011 Time 100 is the most influential people in the world in 2011, according to Time Magazine. And guess what tennis star made the list? But of course, Kim Kleisters made it, and legend Nervatulova wrote an article calling Kleisters a tennis champion. She points out that Kim retired from tennis to start a family, but came back better than ever, with putting a few Grand Slam titles under her belt, became number one, plays with class and sportsmanship, and gets involved in every charity she can, while being a super mom and wife. I don't know if you guys agree with this, would you agree that Kim Kleisters is the most influential person in the world as of right now? 
Well, that wraps us up for today, tennis fans. Be sure to subscribe to the Tennis Now YouTube channel. Click that button right up here. And also be sure to log on to Tennis Now for all the live scores from the tournaments going on for the ATP and WTA Tour this week. I'm Lauren Lynch, and this is Tennis Now. Thanks for watching. See you on Friday.